adventurers. We are currently at Gatorland in Orlando, Florida, and we just got here. We are getting ready to make our way around the park. They currently are having their Christmas event called Ho 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 Down, which is pretty awesome. And we've never been here for Christmas before, so we're super excited. So we're gonna show you guys everything they have to offer here for Christmas. We're gonna go on a train ride today. And we would like to just say thank you so much to Gatorland for having us out today. We do appreciate it and we'll definitely be back. This is one of our favorite animal parks. I am a little bit obsessed with alligators, so yeah, <laughs> I am. So check out that big guy back there by the tree. Is he cool or what? <laughs> oh. Look at them, now they're lined up. All I want for Christmas is an alligator. An alligator, an alligator. I absolutely love this. I think this is the coolest thing ever. I can't believe that they don't bother like the Christmas bulbs and stuff. I know. This is what we're here to celebrate today, guys. The holiday ho 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 down. And we're getting ready to make our way through the park to show you guys what's up. Look at this guy. He, it's like he knew we were coming. He is seriously just striking a pose for us right there. Is that awesome? He's got a great white egret there next to him. You're pretty brave, buddy. That's a big gator right there. So this is the snakes exhibit. It's called the snakes of Florida. And right here is a pygmy rattlesnake. It is the most common venomous snake in Florida. Responsible for the most snake bites. So this is a copperhead, a southern copperhead. And this guy will stand his ground and fight. So, um... They are a force to be reckoned with. This is an Eastern Diamondback. He's pretty active. I'm, I'm impressed how active he is right now. So guys, this is Chester. We um, actually met him last time when we were here. And the sound of his jaws clapping together is so surreal. Like, this dude means business. <laughs> he is a very big boy. I'm trying to figure out what this guy's doing. He's like moving around in the water. I don't know if he's bellowing. Usually when they bellow, they're, um, maybe he is. Maybe it was a mating thing. Because then this alligator came over really close to him, like excitedly. I know normally when they bellow, especially the bigger ones, like you can actually see the water vibrating off of their scoots, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know. These two got something going on over here. I'm not sure. What you got going on over here? These guys are pretty active. Yet another brave bird. Look, he's moving around on him. Look at him. Look at the birdies. It's like Venice, the little boat. Look at him. I'm in here. There you go. Uh oh, they're coming head to head here. What's going to happen? Well, that doesn't look good. Uh oh. Is it just a love bite? It might have been a love bite. Uh oh. Are you afraid? Seeing some action happening over here. Seeing some action. They might think we have food. That might be why they're acting funny. Yeah, this is where they feed them, guys. So I just want to make sure that you guys know that it is absolutely 100% illegal to feed wild alligators. Gatorland, uh, they're you know they have licensing and stuff like that. These are not wild alligators. They may have been at one time. A lot of them are rescue alligators that they've relocated um, and brought here. But it is 100% illegal and very dangerous to feed wild alligators because they become too comfortable with humans and that's when a lot of attacks happen on either um, humans or dogs, you know, other small domesticated animals. There's a lot going on out there. There's a lot happening. What's up, my friend? 
How are you? You just enjoying the show up here? Do you have an annual pass? Okay, just checking. Look at all these alligators, guys. So many alligators right here. This is pretty awesome. What's up, guys? What's happening? What is happening? We have landed at the Flamingo Crossing. I don't even know if that's really what it's called, but check out all these flamingos, guys. Aren't they the most beautiful birds? Oh, and they know it. Trust me, they know it. Aren't you a beauty? I think it's so funny how they drink. Just kind of wave their head around and catch water in their beak. Pretty cool. Oh, that one just dive bombed them all in their drinking water. Nasty. These dudes have the right idea. They're just kind of hanging out up here with their bird's eye view of the flamingos. So guys, these are capybaras. They are really cool animals and these guys are only five months old. The males actually get to be about 100 pounds. They are considered the largest rodent. I think they're really cute. And they actually like the water. They love to swim. So guys, here's an up close of the capybara. They finally decided to come out of hiding. But once they get on to me, that I'm filming them again, they're gonna probably hide, so. Here they are. Aren't they adorbs? They're so cute. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Bah. Y'all gonna talk to me? Come and talk to me. No? All right. It looks like I might have disturbed him while he was enjoying the last bit of his meal because he's licking his lips still, so... Yeah, you enjoy that lunch. You enjoy that lunch. Somebody came to talk to me. Look at him. I wanna see you go on your slide. Can you go on your slide for me? Take a ride down the slide. Yeah, of course they do. She's creeping up on him. Are you pecking his butt? That's not very nice. What are you doing? What are you doing to that poor goat? And guys, just so you know, they have plenty of food and drink options here at Gatorland. So here's just one of the kiosks. They have uh, coffee and chai tea, hot tea, uh, frappes, hot chocolate, a uh, little bit of everything. They got smoothies, iced tea, sweet tea. Oh, they got sweet tea, what? Uh, lemonade, lemonade freeze, green tea lemonade, watermelon slushy. They got all that good stuff here. And their prices are super reasonable. So, you know, if you get a hankering for some coffee or, you know, something cold, this is the place to go. This is the bobcat enclosure. And there are two bobcats in here. One is named Osceola and the other is Abiaka. Very cool names. Osceola is a county in Florida. So I think that's pretty cool. Maybe that's where the bobcat was found. 
or brought from. Not really sure on the backstory, but that's kind of cool. Check it out, guys. Here is some festive decor. They got the gingerbread man here with all the treats. Uh-oh. There's some gingerbread gators over here. I like how it looks like he's almost dabbing. That's really cute, the camper. I'm wondering if this outhouse is operational. Kind of got to go. What do you think? You're going to try it? Just get in line behind Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! You can make a, a moldomatic alligator. All right, guys, we are getting ready to head into the theater here. Um, it's a special Christmas presentation. Sounds pretty awesome. It's the Up Close Encounters uh, Stadium. And I must say, I'm super impressed right now with Gatorland because they actually just came through here and disinfected every single one of these uh, bleachers. So, I, you know, I watched them. They disinfected it. They had like a sprayer. So, you know, they're definitely taking precautions here and it makes me feel very comfortable. Everybody's wearing masks. They do require them here. The social distancing is, is very, you know, very well maintained. Like people are doing very well with that. You know, it's, it's always more difficult to visit a theme park in the, in the midst of a pandemic. But, you know, they're definitely taking every precaution. So, I mean, let that be a comfort to you. Don't feel discouraged from visiting because they are taking every possible precaution. My name is Dan. My name is also Dan. And together we make the Gator Dan. That is correct. In just a few short seconds, minutes, minutes. Maybe. Maybe minutes. Maybe hours. We'll stay Maybe here all hours. day. Maybe hours. We'll see. see. You'll, be, uh, you'll see a, a story, right? Correct. A Correct. Christmas it story. is one of the most beautiful Christmas stories I have ever heard. Y'all are in for a treat. That's but right. First, but until then, we're going to sing some songs for you. That's right. Now, Did this is going to be a little interactive. Yes. We're going to need you to sing, too. We can't do all the work by ourselves. No. So, predominantly because we're lazy. <laughs> when we point at you, you say, hey. Right. That's pretty easy, right? Let's try it. Ready? One, two, hey. three. Hey! Hey! Wait, let's try that again. Ready? Hey! Hey! hey. There we go, Dan. That worked. There we I'll go. Take it. We gotta be together. Twice as loud later on. Go. All right, here we go. Ready? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride now. Everyone say hey! Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open. Yes, 
His fortune seemed his lot, and soon he hit a drifted bank, and there he got upside. That's unfortunate. Oh, <laughs> Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved it, as they shouted out with glee, Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history. Santa came to say, Won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer love you And as they shut it out with me It's Creeps with the Snowman. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome That's Creeps the snowman. to a new yeah, yeah. Gatorland tradition. We're going to have Savannah come out in a few moments yeah. and she's going to read to you the new Christmas classic, Randolph the Pink Eyed Gator. Are we ready? Yeah. yeah. Are we ready? Let's hear Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so I'm going to read you guys a story, and then when the story's over, we're going to give you guys some candy, and it's going to be lots of fun. And you guys all sound like you're in the Christmas spirit, hi! <laughs> and this book is called How Randolph the Pink-Eyed Alligator Saved Christmas. 
Once upon a time, in a land right there down the road on Orange Blossom Trail, was a magical place called Gatorland. And there was the most handsome baby white alligator living there. And his name was Randolph, the pink eyed gator. Aww. No, it ain't that kind of pink eye. <laughs> it's because he's a beautiful albino alligator. Now, Randolph had lots of friends like raccoons, possums, squirrels, rabbits. He even had friends like bobcats, goats, and giant tortoises. <clears throat> but there was also a big, ornery skunk ape named Leroy that lived in the woods there at Gatorland. He was really cranky because he had what folks in these parts call irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> That's a big term, ain't it? But because of that, he was always walking around being grumpy and stinky. <laughs> well, it turned out that Leroy the Skunk Ape hated Christmas, and he was bound and determined to ruin it for all the little critters here at Gatorland. So one night, Leroy snuck out to that big salt palmetto bush that had all them Christmas decorations and presents under it, and he stole all the presents. So all the little animals will be sad. That's right, he took everything. Well, he even took little Ben and Jerry's Weeble Wobble Farm Animal Playhouse and Dean the Tortoise's Tonka Dump Truck. <laughs> it was so sad. And little Randolph the Pink-Eyed Gator said to himself, well, sack of Julia, we gotta do something to save Christmas. And all of a sudden, Randolph looked up and saw in a haze of magic and sparkles and glitter and Christmas lights, a really, really, really big beautiful figure with the most biggest gigantic wings and hair flowing like spun gold and blue eyes and a halo and she was magnificent she was randolph's christmas angel and guess what her name was Savannah. Her name was Savannah. And when she spoke, it sounded like Grandma was hollering from the back porch for dinner time. But she took little Randolph in her hands and said, Oh, Randolph, you sure are a cute little booger. But we got to get you to the North Pole to tell old Santa Claus what Leroy did and make sure he brings lots of toys for all the good little critters here at Gatorland. So his Christmas angel, Savannah, tried to buy Randolph a plane ticket, but it turns out they had canceled all the plane tickets to the North Pole on account of COVID-19. <laughs> so then she tried to get an Uber driver to take him, but being that close to Christmas, didn't nobody want to drive him all the way to the North Pole. So right then, they knew good and well they had to catch the three-town Greyhound out of St. Cloud, Florida, if they was going to have any chance at all of saving Christmas. The problem was Randolph didn't have much money for being only four months old and all, so Randolph and Savannah had to buy cheap tickets and ride in the back of the bus with the pigs and the chickens. But that was okay because they had a good time doing bus karaoke, counting license plates, playing Scrabble and Punch Buggy and both. Before you know it, they were all the way at the North Pole. But it turns out old Santa Claus had problems of his own. You see, it was Christmas Eve and they was experiencing a rare lunar phase that scientists called Ain't got no moon tonight. And it seems that red-nosed reindeer that always helped Sandy have been rolling around in the mud. And Miss Claus hollered at him, Rudolph, stop eating that dirt! But he didn't listen and now he's got a bellyache and he can't even fly. But Serena, well, she's a smart Christmas angel. Probably like the smartest Christmas angel in the world. Probably like a genius when it comes to Christmas angels. And she had a great idea. She told Santa Claus, hey, Sandy! Randolph here has pink eyes that glow like the headlights on an 18-wheeler that little Randolph can help you see through the darkest of nights. So Santa Claus said, little Randolph with your eyes so bright, won't you sit on Dasher's head tonight? <laughs> <laughs> and little Randolph climbed up there and grabbed a hold of Dasher's antlers and Savannah jumped on Santa's sleigh and they hollered, yee-haw, and off they went. Now back at Gatorland, it was 4.30 in the morning, and all the little baby critters went running into their parents' bedrooms hollering, it's Christmas, it's Christmas. And all the grown up animals wiped their eyes and said, it's 4.30 in the morning, you kids shut up and get back in bed. <laughs> now you see, some of them animals ain't nocturnal, they're diurnal. Y'all can Google that on your way home. <laughs> Anyways, the next thing you know is getting daylight and all them little animals at Gatorland went running out to that big saw palmetto bush to see what Sandy had brung them. But there weren't no presents. 
It seems Randolph, Savannah, and Santa Claus got hung up by the Border Patrol coming out of Canada because Santa Claus had forgot his passport and Donald Trump had built a secondary wall there too. <laughs> and them agents had to check the sleigh and well they frisked old Santa Claus and that took a long while because he's a big feller, you know. And they were going to deny entry because it seems the Center for Disease Control had banned non-essential travel from Canada. So that's when the Christmas Angel Savannah spread her wings like Leonard Skinner in a free bird video and flew that sleigh right over that wall. And before you know it, all the little critters heard sleigh bells and they looked up in the sky and here come them reindeer just kicking and snorting and tooting all the way to the big saw Paul Matter. Push. <laughs> and there was Randolph still hanging on to Dasher's antlers, and there is his Christmas angel Savannah sitting on the sleigh, messing up all Santa Claus's preset radio stations. <laughs> they rode into that Saul Paul Matter bush and set to handing out presents to all the good little critters, and everyone was so happy. Everyone except Leroy the Skunk Egg. Seems Leroy had started eating everyone's Christmas dinner and got a hold of a bad devil egg, and man, that tore his belly up something fierce. So he was out in the woods where the bears go, <laughs> trying to get himself all straightened out, and he missed the whole celebration. But all the other critters gathered around that salt pole meadow bush and sang songs like, Gator Claus is here, coming to town. Here comes Gator Claus. Is that you, Gator Claus? And Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Yep, all the Christmas classics we <laughs> love. And it was the best Christmas ever. And that right there, boys and girls, is true story on how Randolph the Pink-Eyed Gator and his angel Savannah saved Christmas at Gator Lake. Guys, this is so cool. This is where Gator Claus greets his guests at Gatorland here. He's got his airboat instead of a sleigh, which is pretty awesome. Look at all those gifts he's got. Got a wreath up there on his seat. And of course. So guys, we are getting ready to board the Gatorland Express train in just a couple minutes here. Lisa decided when in Gatorland, do as the Gators do, and drink what? Gatorade! <laughs> That's so funny. It's only appropriate. You looking forward to your train ride? Yes, I am. This is exciting. We're going back through the very deep Floridian, uh, is this like an Everglades or what? It's very cool. I don't know what's going to be on this ride, but it looks pretty intense. <laughs> I'm really excited guys because as we walked up the ramp to the train queue, they had an Italian ice cart, which I know some of you guys know. I absolutely love Italian ice even more than ice cream because you know what? It's lactose free, first of all. Second of all, it just melts in your mouth. It's so smooth and delicious. And it really does cool you off. So, they actually have samples, free samples of the Italian ice. We tried the rainbow, which was really good. It tasted like pineapple, cherry, and blue raspberry maybe. But it was so good, we both loved it. So we're probably gonna end up splitting one when we get off the train. I would get it right now, but I just, you know, I gotta, I gotta have my hands free for the train ride. So, I'm looking forward to that after this awesome train ride. Look guys, they're disinfecting the train and then we're gonna get ready to depart shortly. But see, this is what I was talking about. They did the exact same thing at the stadium. So Gatorland is doing their part to keep us safe. All right guys, we just boarded the train, the Gatorland Express, and we are getting ready to head out of the station in just a couple minutes. We're gonna show you guys all of the excitement that we encounter on our journey. Let's go. Uh, well, so we have Bubba's Christmas Crisis. We're going to help Bubba find some of the presents that he lost. Starting right about now. Into the wall. 
the bluest blue pair, the blue overall. It's appropriate because I'm over all these hits. Why doesn't anyone ever just give me a nice pair of board shorts? This is Florida. You know how hot overalls are? I'll find him that mean. He will not escape. I'm going to catch him. That's disgusting. For those of you folks who have not heard Dear, look, dear. There's some bra that's a Brahma boy, I believe. I'm not just talking about When Bubba found Snuggie, he was mad at first sight. He marched up to Snuggie, all ready to fight. He took over the prison to bring me love. Bubba knew Snuggie, and Snuggie knew that Bubba could have killed him. And he wanted to hide. You found those three poor prisons under the country. Now you're giving prison to you. And what was the gift? Just the best thing ever. A Bubba toy made out of twigs and some things. Then Skunk Ape said something Bubba always remembered. That beautiful day in late December. He said, <laughs> Bubba said as he wiped his tears. Could they have said it better? And the Skunk Ape returned and walked out of sight. Alright folks, this is an optional stop. You do not have to exit here, but if you decide to do so, wait till the train comes to a complete stop. We're gonna go out here next to the camera This guy is seriously smiling for the camera. I know you guys can't tell. Look at him. You, sir, are an actor. Or maybe ma'am. I'm sorry, you might be a ma'am. You are a very beautiful gator, though. Where are you going? Thanks for hanging out. Oh, you only have one. Wait, do you only have one leg in the front? Well, sorry, bud. You're so cute. He was just showing us, guys. He's got a, a missing limb in the front there. His front leg is missing. I guess he was probably in a fight. Is that safe to assume? You're beautiful though. Stay beautiful. Look at you go. You've got this, homie. You handle your business. You're getting pretty big now. You have a good day. Thank you so much for smiling. See you later, buddy. See you later. Later, Gator. Whoa, look at the size of this guy. Oh my goodness. He is very well fed. Matter of fact, all these guys are really well fed. See, over here you can actually pay and feed the gators. We did that last time. Compliments of Gatorland. I may or may not do it today. I'm going to see how many people are in front of us. I may do it. It was a really cool experience. Highly recommend doing that. It's a lot of fun. So guys, we are still in the breeding marsh. And these guys are going crazy for some food. It's like a feeding frenzy. Uh-oh. That means he's mad. 
Which one was that? I think it was this guy. Right here. See? He's mad. He said, get out of here. Oh, it's biting. What? This little one came up and bit him in the neck. It's not hard. Look at the little guy on his back, that little snowy egret. Somebody over here is hissing too. Who's having a hissy fit over here? This is where all the action is. Who's fighting? Which one? Goodness sakes. These guys are not happy. What's the matter with you? You're fine. You're fine. Uh-oh, what's going on over here? There's a showdown between a gator and a... Looks like a stork of some sort. Goodness, angry birds up in here. Angry birds. Alligator fight. Look how beautiful it is out here, guys. Stunning. They do uh, actually offer a zip lining experience right over there, guys. That's pretty awesome. We have not done that because of my fear of heights. Obviously, I'm not interested in zip lining, but um, it does look like a lot of fun, you know, for somebody that doesn't have that fear. I think it would be pretty cool. Maybe one day I'll get over it. It adds to the excitement though that you are actually zip lining over top of hundreds of alligators. I think that's kind of a, oh, this guy wants to um, say hello. He's splashing around over here. What's up, bud? What you doing? I don't have any food for you. I'm sorry. I don't have anything for you. I can't help you. <laughs> Look at him. I mean, at least I'm honest. Well, it is the breeding marsh, and it looks like he's about to get down to business. Oh. This, this movie's going X. <laughs> oh. He jumped. Are you embarrassed? I'm embarrassed for you right now. Poor... Poor gator. All right, later gators. All right guys, we had an amazing, amazing time here at Gatorland. We just wanna say thank you so much to Gatorland for having us out today. They did provide our tickets, so a huge appreciation for that. If you're gonna be anywhere near the Orlando area or even passing through, we would highly recommend taking a day out to enjoy all of the excitement and fun that Gatorland has to offer. This is really an amazing place, guys, and you can learn so much about wildlife. It's very educational, but at the same time, so much fun and very immersive. So definitely do it. Make sure you tell them Raptor Adventures sent you. We love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out, and we'll see you on our next Raptor, Raptor Adventure. Adventure.